Hi, I'm Pete Schellenbach, culinary specialist with Vulcan, and I'm here in the test kitchen today to show you Vulcan's newest fryer, the Vulcan Quick Fry. The Quick Fry is available in two different vat sizes, a 50 or a 75. Both sizes of Quick Fry fryers are available as single, dual, or triple lane fryers. So I'm standing in front of a dual vat 75 pound fryer. This side is set up with dual lanes. This side is set up with three lanes. Or if I am frying lots of one thing, lots and lots of one thing, I can have one basket per vat. The Vulcan Quick Fry Fryer is engineered with the most advanced in-shot atmospheric burners on the market. That means that the 75 pound fryer is 58% efficient, which is an extraordinarily high number for a gas fryer. Also, its recovery time is only 13 seconds. When you're talking about the 50 pound fryer, that recovery time is less than 10 seconds. It is actually faster than the industry standard for measuring recovery time because that test has a floor of 10 seconds. And the 50 pound quick fry is already back to temperature as that 10 seconds elapses. And those in-shot atmospheric burners at 58% efficiency mean that both the 50 and the 75 pound quick fry do qualify for Energy Star. There are three different control options that you can get with a quick fry. Analog, digital, and computer. Examples of what customer might want each of those. The analog controller would be for either an independent operator or a chain that fries by sight or by sound rather than built-in timers. An operation could certainly get an outboard strip timer, but the analog controller doesn't provide load compensation like the D or C controls. The D or digital control is for an operation with a limited fry mix on their menu that isn't frying as many time-sensitive items. The digital controller would be great for a sports bar that is doing a lot of wings or tenders and fries. It has two timers and does add load compensation, which I'll discuss later. Then we move up to the C or computer control. It provides as many as 18 timers per vat, divisible by one, two, or three lanes, and also has load compensation available. The C control also has idle mode and is the controller for a restaurant that wants to maintain the tightest possible control of their frying operation. This controller would be perfect for a location with a heavy fry mix with several time sensitive items. Regardless of which control panel you choose, either the analog, the digital, or the computer, all of them have dry fire prevention, which means that the fryer will not fire, the gas will not ignite if there is no oil in the vat. Also, all three have three different melt modes. So if you're using traditional block solid shortening versus liquid shortening, or if you want to use no melt mode at all and just let the fryer start up right away, you can choose those options. All three control panels have electronic ignition and all three will operate up to 390 degrees. I'm standing in front of the computer controls. Because the computer controls are so easy to use, you'll save labor dollars because it is so easy to train a staff member on just firing one, two, three, four, just whatever number the food is. They press that number, that timer's already loaded. In addition to the regular timers that are in here, I can also add into the programming a reminder to shake the product, so it's called a shake timer, or if it's a product that floats on the oil, I can set a reminder timer to flip it or turn it over. So when you're talking about consistency with a fryer, what you're really talking about is the recovery time and how accurately that fryer can come back and hold that set temperature. The Quick Fry does that with our tuned baffle heat exchangers. That means that there are baffles inside the heat exchanger which slow the burn gas down. And that lets more heat get through the heat exchanger and into the oil. Also, because I can set either real time or load compensating time, I can actually have the Quick Fry help me make sure my product comes out correctly by only starting the timer when the oil has come back to its preset temperature. So I'm sure that every product that's supposed to fry for four minutes at 350 degrees will actually fry for four minutes at 350. Where most manufacturers make the flu its own separate box, the back wall of the fryer is actually part of the flue, which means that I get more heat energy transferring out of the flue gas 
before it exits the fryer and into the oil. That's a great way to engineer even more thermal energy moving into the fryer than everyone else has. So now let's open up the quick fry and uh, I'll show you what's, uh, what's under the hood. The first thing that really jumps out at you is this red pipe, which is the manifold that connects the two vats and moves the oil into the filtration system. In the front of the manifold, you'll notice two removable caps. These are the access ports for the boil out bypass. What that does is it keeps the oil and the water that you would use to clean the fryer separate so that you can boil out the fryer with water and some sort of cleaning solution and then bypass the spot where the oil is being held because the oil when you open the drain is going to drop into the tank. So the boil out bypass is a great, great feature of this fryer. Here you can see that this fryer has built in filtration. I would strongly recommend using built-in filtration on a fryer in your operation is going to double or triple your oil life. And with the price of oil, what it is now, that's an incredibly important thing. All right, so now I'm ready to start to cook in my new quick fry fryer. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do to get going is obviously turn the fryer on. I'm gonna turn it on right here. The fryer will give me a update about which software package is in it currently. And now it's gonna ask me to confirm that the vat is full to make sure that I'm not gonna dry fire this fryer. I'm gonna hit confirm to say that it is full. If it were not already preheated, it would go through a melting phase where it could melt solid shortening or bring liquid shortening up to temperature a little more slowly because putting a lot of heat energy into either of the shortening choices can shorten the oil life. Take you through the control panel a little bit, left to right. This right now is set up as a two lane fryer, meaning it can have two baskets in each vat. The way I know that is because my decal here is divided into two sections. I have nine programs for my left lane and nine programs for my right lane. Over here is a temperature button, so I can always check to see what the actual temperature of the fryer is. Then moving over one, I've got my filter button. To engage the filtration system, I would press and hold that filter button for three seconds to turn the filter on. Then I've got my boil out button for the automated boil out, which will initiate a 20 minute timed sequence that holds the cleaning solution safely at a temperature just below 212 degrees to prevent spillover. Obviously here in the center, I have the interface to control the cursors left, right, up, down, uh, and to get into my programming and service modes. Over here, I have my confirm button. When the quick fry asks me a question and I need to confirm the answer, I use the confirm button. And then over here, I have my cancel button, which is used to cancel any current programs. So now I'm gonna start with some chicken sandwiches and some french fries. We all know the, uh, the, the, the chicken sandwich wars that happened recently, and we'll talk about that uh, just before I get this going. A couple of the big chains started bringing out fried chicken sandwiches, and they became incredibly popular, so much so that every chain followed suit, every chain claiming that theirs was the best of the best. What we needed was a fryer that could work with those chains. And so we began developing a fryer that was more specifically focused toward chain or multi-unit operations. One of the most important is the USB interface. It's very, very simple to download recipes from a stick into the quick fry. That means that if I have multiple quick fry fryers across multiple stores, across multiple states, it's simple to adjust my corporate recipes from location to location so I have consistency at every operation. That's so important for, for brand standards, for just the, the customer satisfaction. Um, so what I'm gonna do right now is some chicken sandwich, uh, some chicken sandwiches and uh, some french fries. And I'm gonna do that by breading a few chicken thighs, lightly coating them in flour, shaking off any excess and then going to a seasoned buttermilk batter. Using that buttermilk is going to give me a darker coloration on the, 
on the finished product. And then into some panko breadcrumbs. Toss those to coat. So now, shake off that excess. Go to the first lane of my fryer, the left lane. Drop the chicken. Chicken sandwich, which I have set up as number two in my recipes that are in the panel. Another feature of the quick fry that makes it great for hand breaded products is an ample cold zone to allow any loose breading to fall below the heating tubes so it won't burn and degrade the oil. So my quick fry just reminded me to shake this chicken. So I'm gonna give the, give the basket a little shake to make sure that the chicken pieces are separated and that there's enough oil circulating between the pieces so I get even browning on all sides. So now I'm gonna go ahead and drop the french fries. I'm gonna be using lane two. So I've got lane one occupied by my chicken and I'm gonna use lane two for the french fries. So I'll drop those. And then start the timer in lane two on my control panel. The key to knowing how productive a fryer can be is to know the recovery time. How fast does the fryer recover temperature after an item has been cooked? The recovery time in the 75 pound quick fry is 13 to 14 seconds. And in the 50 pound quick fry, that time is less than 10 seconds. That means there is plenty of power to ensure great product while it's cooking and be ready for another batch almost instantaneously. On this quick fry, you can see that I have side panels here and here. This one is nice to have, but because to my right, I have a range with open gas burners on top, I definitely wanna prevent oil from splashing near those, those open burners. So this side panel protects the oil from splashing over here. So the quick fries reminded me to shake the basket of french fries, so I'm gonna do so. So another nice feature of the Vulcan quick fry is its low flue temperatures. Because it is so efficient at burning the gas and getting the heat energy out of the burned gas and into the fryer, the exhaust coming out of the flue is lower than other fryers. So the quick fry is telling me to remove the, the french fries from this side and I'll turn off that timer. So now I'm gonna put some of this on a plate and uh, show you what it looks like. Chicken sandwich and some french fries to go along with that. So as I said, in the Vulcan Quick Fry Fryer today, we're gonna to be cooking some fried chicken. So I've got regular eight cut fried chicken, the restaurant term for this. It's just whole pieces of bone-in fried chicken, or chicken right now. And I'm gonna load some into this chicken breader. So I'm just gonna roll them to coat, making sure I've got an even coating on everything. I'm gonna pick up two of them. And if I bang them together, remember I'm trying to get the excess breading off. If I bang them together, I'm gonna to make a spot where they've touched each other. So the best way to do it is to turn my hands out and bang the backs of my hands together, like this. Then I don't get spots where I've smacked the chicken together, but I've still given it enough of a, a tap to remove the excess breading. I'm gonna go ahead and start loading my breaded chicken. I'm gonna fill my basket about three quarters of the way full, just to make sure that I've got enough room in the basket for the oil to move around the chicken and cook things evenly. Okay, so I'm gonna drop the chicken and start the timer. Production capacity out of these fryers is incredible. Our 75 pound fryer is 13% more productive than our main competition 75 pound fryer, which takes up a larger footprint in your kitchen. The Quick Fry 50 is more productive than our competitor's 60 pound fryer, but has the same footprint. This means that you'll be saving the cost of 10 pounds of oil, still producing more food, 
and not sacrificing any additional real estate under your hood. Standing here in front of this absolutely beautiful fried chicken, it's even coloration across the entire batch. Uh, it's juicy inside, it's nice and crispy on the outside. You can hear it in my microphone if I hold it close enough. It's just perfect fried chicken. We got this because of Quick Fry's ability to come right back to temperature. It recovers temperature so fast. And because of that, I get this kind of consistency, not only within one batch, but then batch to batch to batch all day long throughout my operation. I have multiple timers. I did set a timer for this, um, and that timer did remind me a couple of times during the course of the chicken's cooking that it, I needed to shake the basket to make sure I got nice, even coloration. The quick fry, like I said, is consistent batch to batch. So this is what fried chicken would look like at my restaurant or at your restaurant all day long. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this on a plate and uh, show you what it looks like when I serve it. All right, so now what I wanna show you is the ability of the quick fry to quickly filter in between shifts. This is the kind of filtration that I would like to see people doing more of um, shortly after lunch when they've got a few minutes of downtime, there's not much, there aren't many orders coming in, filter the fryer, refill it, and get it back up to temperature. I'm gonna open the front panel of the quick fry. I'm gonna reach in and open the drain. If this were the kind of filtration I was doing at the end of the day, when I needed more complete cleaning of the sediment and the, the oil, um, I would take a little longer to do that filtering and uh, I would use my discard hose. Uh, I would attach that to the fryer and use the hot oil to spray down the sidewalls of the tank to make sure that sediment was knocked down. But what I'm showing you now is just that quick filtering in between shifts. As I mentioned before, the entire process of draining the oil, filtering it, refilling the vat, and bringing the filtered oil up to temperature takes less than three minutes, regardless of which quick fry vat size you have. Also, since employees aren't handling the oil, the built-in filtration is much safer for your operation. If I filter multiple times a day, I can see the oil life double and sometimes triple, which is a pretty extraordinary savings. So you can see on the crumb tray, we obviously didn't have too much sediment in the fryer because I really wasn't frying all that much. But most of the sediment that comes off fried chicken is actually flour that would pass right through this crumb tray. The crumb tray is really just to catch the really large sediments and then those can just be discarded in a trash can. All right, so now I'm gonna remove the crumb catcher and show you what the filter looks like. And now you'll be able to see what that filter has caught and basically what you're seeing is the cooked flour that came off of the fried chicken that we cooked. If you opt for the built-in filtration system with Vulcan, you get, as I mentioned, the discard hose that's included. You also get the top of the filtration system, which is this crumb catcher to catch large particles. Then the Clean Screen Plus filter. This fine mesh filter will capture particles down to 60 microns. For a frame of reference, 60 microns would be a single grain of salt floating in the oil. The best option would be the fabric filter accessory. The fabric filter is an envelope that wraps around this piece of metal and goes into the fryer filter itself. This filter captures particulate down to a half micron. For reference, a single piece of flour, a single grain of flour is 10 microns. So the fabric filter is really the one that you want if you really want to pull all of the impurities out of your oil. This is the filter that will cause your oil to last the longest. 
The nice thing about this filter is, although it is a disposable filter, it does not need to be changed every single day like a paper filter would. When you opt for built-in filtration, you get the Clean Screen Plus filter. Let me show you that, show you that and how it works. There are two locking handles here. The bottom one is to secure the pipe into the filter, and then the top one is to make sure that the entire situation is locked down. So I'm gonna undo the top one and undo the bottom one to loosen everything up. Once they are loose, I can remove this bar, and then I can show you the Clean Screen Plus filter. The structure of this is a fine mesh filter over a stronger, heavier filter that helps to give it structure and support. I can show you that by releasing this clip, opening the top, and then reaching inside, I can pull out the insert, and that is the structure of this. As I said, if I want to go to the finest possible filtration, I would move to the fabric filter. With the fabric filter, you initially get a fabric filter kit that includes this heavier piece. If you'll notice, it's much like this one, and it's designed to give structure to the fabric envelope. Slide the screen insert inside the fabric envelope. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this and fold this piece over and then the top over here. And I'm going to add this bar that will seal everything together, like that. So now I'm gonna replace the suction tube by making sure the base of the suction tube is seated down in the, in the locking ring. Thanks so much for joining me here in the test kitchen while we went over the Vulcan Quick Fry Fryer. Today we cooked some fried chicken, we did a great chicken sandwich and some french fries to go along with that. And the key takeaway is how quickly those things cooked, so much faster than a regular fryer and with incredibly high quality. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our Vulcan sales rep and they can help you with anything you need to know.